welcome back to the channel. My name is Ronaldo Moore with PPG, and if you are a new viewer, welcome aboard. My existing viewers, as always, welcome back. Got something a little different for you this time. Uh, by the thumbnail, I'm sure you can tell what this one is about. Posted a video a while back um, about PRVs, pressure reducing valve. Um, I listed some ways to, to check your to check your water pressure to see if you have a bad PRV. Um, and this one is more of a <laughs> a real world situation. <laughs> Let me give you a little little background. Uh, I'm at my my mother's house. Um, her kitchen faucet was leaking at the handle. I thought it was a it's a bad faucet, so I went to the hardware store, bought a new one. Installed it myself, and shortly after that, it started leaking again at the handle. It was a brand new faucet, so I was like, "Man, that's <laughs> that's not making any sense." So, I immediately took out my pressure gauge, checked the pressure gauge at the washing machine box, cold water side. It was over eighty psi. It was almost ninety psi. Took a reading at the hose bib downstream of the PRV. It was almost it was about ninety psi. So. Kind of put two and two together. Bad PRV. So I called a friend of mine, he's a plumber, came out, he installed it, put a new uh, shutoff valve on there as well. Um, tried to get him on camera. I wanted to kind of interview him as he was installing it. He didn't. He didn't want to be <laughs> on camera. He didn't want to be in the video at all. So I just did a lot of, a lot of still photos and, and um, yeah. So, but it's critical that you guys check, keep an eye on your water pressure. Very simple to do. You know, go to the one of the hardware stores, get your pressure gauge. They're like, you know, $10, $11. Check your pressure cold water side at the wash machine box. Get a reading. Go to the hose bib downstream of the PRV. Find where your PRV is. Go to the hose bib on the exterior downstream of that. Um, some setups, they'll come off before the, the PRV and run a hose bib to the front of the house. And then the one at the rear of the house is normally downstream of the PRV. So you want to check that, get a reading. If it's over 80 PSI, you might need to look at your PRV. Um, if, it's, if it's really low. I mean, you want that number to be in between 55 and 65, ideally around 60 PSI. So if it's really low, you want to check your PRV as well. Um, we got to get something from this. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you again <laughs> on the next one. So after removing the old existing kitchen faucet, which was leaking at the handle, I bought and installed this new faucet uh, shortly after it started leaking at the handle <laughs> as well. Uh, so I immediately, you know, I went through and checked all of my connections and made sure that, um, that I installed it correctly, uh, but it, it was still leaking at the handle. Um, so I figured, hey, something's wrong here brand new kitchen faucet. I figured something was wrong. Um, I immediately thought about pressure. You know, high pressure would probably be the, be the only thing that would, that could cause this to happen. So I went and grabbed my pressure gauge and I went and took some readings. I went to the washing machine box and to the hose bib downstream of the PRV. And sure enough, um, this is uh, the reading at the washing machine box, almost 90 PSI. And I took another reading at the hose bib in the backyard, uh, downstream of the PRV, and it was around the same thing, about 90 PSI. So, you know, you kind of put, put two and two together and um, yeah, it was a bad P PRV it obviously failed uh, open um, we have about 90 
pounds of pressure coming in the house. You never want to go over 80. Uh, the house was built back in 1977. So it's a, the PRV is over 40, 40 years old. Probably the original PRV. So yeah, it was time to get that changed. All right, so I decided to take a little trip down to the crawl space and what you're looking at in this picture is the original PRV and the shutoff valve. House was built back in 1977, so it's over 40 years old. Uh, typical lifespan of a PRV is probably 10 to 15 years. So I was almost positive that this one, or this was the issue, this was the problem. A failed PRV and it failed open. You do have some that when they fail, they fail close and you'll get very, very little pressure. This one failed open and it's too much pressure going into the house, about 90 to 95 PSI. So. It's time to get a new pressure reducing valve and a shutoff valve. And voila, there you have it. A brand new PRV, brand new shutoff valve. This is a three quarter inch Zern PRV, brand new Zern shutoff valve. Um, we decided to go with PEX to copper connection um, he and like I said I wish I could have got the plumber on video he didn't want to be on video I understood um, but he he soldered the copper connection onto it was a fitting onto the existing copper line then he crimped the pecs to that fitting and so and with these these Zern PRVs and it's a three-quarter inch it as far as the the orientation it, it doesn't matter you can be upside like the way it's shown it's it's upside down but it could it could go upside down right side up uh any kind of orientation vertical horizontal any any way necessary to get the job done they still work um, so yeah um as far as the adjustment um you want to be around the 60 psi range like I said, from the factory, they are set at 50 PSI. I wanted to be at the 60 PSI, so I did have to adjust this PRV. Um, make sure you have your pressure gauge um, and just go to the, the wash machine box. You could have somebody else, if you have somebody else in the house that could help you, they could, you know, have the pressure gauge hooked up to the wash machine box on the cold water side, and you can be adjusting it um, to whatever PSI you, you, you choose to, um, if you want to, you can just leave it at 50 PSI. I wanted it to be right in that sweet spot of about 60 PSI. So I did, like I said, I did have to adjust it some, um, but, uh, yeah, it went, it went pretty smooth. So, so this is the new reading at the Post bib downstream of the new PRV uh, was also the same reading at the wash machine box as well. This is kind of where you want to be, um, around the between 55, 65. Try to get as close to 60 as possible. Started to adjust it a little more, but I figure, heck, I'll just leave it alone. Leave it at that. So, yeah, it's critical that you guys keep an eye on, on your pressure, your water pressure. High water pressure will destroy your bathroom fixtures. It will damage your water heater as well. Um, and it's, it's simple to, to check. You just, you know, like I said earlier in the intro, get you a, a pressure gauge. You can go to the big box stores, big box hardware stores, get one for $10, $11. Get a reading at your wash machine box, cold water side, hose bib downstream of the PRV 
and uh, yeah, you want to you want to check that. Nothing over 80 psi. If it's over 80 psi. There's a problem. If it's too low, that's a problem. So you need to be around that 55, 65 area. 60 is definitely the sweet spot for water pressure going into your house. Okay, these next two clips are just simply showing you the process in checking your water pressure. Um, one clip is showing you at the wash machine box and the other clip is showing you at the hose bib downstream of the PRV. So it's critical, it's easy to do, and it's critical that you keep an eye on your water pressure. So what you need to do is take your pressure gauge, go to your wash machine box, go to the cold water side, screw it on there, get a reading. Now if it's over 80 PSI, there's a problem. Um, you want that to be between 55 and 60. 55 and 65 60 is where you want to be at but if it's over 80 there's a problem so you also need to take a reading at the hose bed that's downstream of the PRV and that's kind of where you want to be as far as the the PSI number between 55 and 65. 